Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a short one, but it's going to be a specific one. So instead of going over this whole unit, I've already done some work on it. All we're going to do today is do the valve adjustment. That way I can put a video up that says valve adjustment and it's searchable. Because I set the valves on just about every one of these that I work on, but it's buried in the buried in the video somewhere. So we're going to do a searchable video just on doing this. So I'm not going to go through the whole procedure. I'm going to do one side for you because the other side's the same and the procedure is the same, whether it's a V twin or the uh, single overhead valve engines, the Intex, they're all the same like that. So we're going to get zoomed in a little bit and get some tools gathered and jump in. All right, welcome back. Let's get you zoomed in here. Oh, there we go. This way, ah, that's too close. Okay, so let's get in there. You need a 3 8 socket or driver to get into there. Put a rag underneath that just in case some oil comes out of there. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I should also mention that this has got to be done on a cold engine. Stone cold. Just checking push rods, make sure nothing's bent. Yeah, everything looks good in there. Okay. So sometimes it's slightly different in here depending on the style of adjuster and the style of the lock. So on this engine, the nut is the lock and the center is the adjuster. There's another style that's got a very small Torx in the middle and a big nut and the nut is the adjuster and the little tiny, tiny Torx in the middle is the lock. So it's opposite to this. So that's not what I was expecting when I took the lid off so I didn't have the right Torx out, but there, now we do. I had a 20, now that's a, I don't know, 40? 40, looks like a 40 but that's our adjuster. So first thing what we're gonna do is I've got the spark plugs out of it so I can roll the engine over easily by hand. And there's a procedure, they tell you to put it at top dead center and uh, a quarter inch past top dead center and all this other stuff. That's, I don't do that. I usually just rotate the engine over, just rotating it by hand here. You can see that this push rod is coming up, which means this valve is opening. So once it's at the end of its travel, this will be absolutely closed. So we can adjust this one. Exhaust is down here, so that's the exhaust. This is the intake. A spec on this is four to six thousandths of an inch. So we're gonna go for five. Slice it right down the middle. And that should be the same spec for the intakes as well, the singles. So we're gonna take a five thou feeder blade, we're gonna shove it between the tip of the valve stem and the rocker. And she's pretty loose. Now this unit has just over 600 hours on it. John Deere recommends, well, Briggs & Stratton recommends that you set the valves every 200 hours. Most of the time when I check them at 200 hours, they're not, they're not loose, they're not bad. So I don't, you know, I just make sure that they're okay, but they're not usually bad. But at 400 hours, they definitely need to be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this while I loosen the nut. I just don't want it to go flying weight of adjustment. So it shouldn't be awful tight. That nut just cracks loose pretty easy. Hold the adjuster, loosen the nut. I'm just gonna slide that feeler blade back in there and just carefully turn that at center. Just with my fingers, you don't need a tool to do it. It just, it's very loose. So I'm just gonna turn that down until I feel some drag on my 5 thou feeler blade. There's some drag there. And now we're gonna hold, get the wrench on there. We're gonna hold our adjuster so it doesn't turn while we tighten the nut. Now it's not overly tight right now, just cause I'm gonna check it again. Well, it's not bad, could go a little bit tighter. Well, that's why I didn't crank that nut down cause I could still just, oh, oh actually I got a little bit too tight. 
if you play your cards right, you can just turn the adjuster a hair more without getting too far out. There, that's perfect. That's perfect five thou right there. So it should be pretty, pretty good there. I'm just gonna make sure that the nut goes tight without turning the adjuster. I don't have the spec for you guys, just off the top of my head. It's just tight enough that it doesn't fall off. There, that's perfect. Perfect amount of drag. Now let's roll her over. So what we're aiming for is this push rod to come up to push this valve down to open it, and this one should be closed. So there we go. That valve is opening, and it's all the way open. Now we should be able to set this one to our 5 thou, which is like you could park a truck in there. So that's way too loose. There we go. Cracker loose. Snug it up a little bit. Small adjustments. It doesn't take much to get this set right. So it's snug. Just got a little bit of drag on it. And we're going to hold our adjuster, tighten the nut. And then double check our work. Just a small amount of drag on that 5 thou feeler blade. If I put a 6 in there, it would be pretty, pretty snug. But that's it. That's all it is. It's not complicated. It's simple, regular maintenance that you can do with some basic hand tools. This one was a T40 and a uh, half inch or 13 millimeter nut. The other ones are going to be a T20 in here, and I think it's the same size, 12 or uh, half inch or 13 millimeter nut on the other style, but it's just a different style of adjuster. The idea is the same. So we're going to close this video out here. So uh, that's it. That's all it is. It's not a big, big job. It's not a difficult task. And uh, it is regular maintenance. They recommend every 200 hours. I usually start to see them getting out of adjustment around the 300 or so, over about 300 hours, and you really should be adjusting them. Symptoms of that will be, uh, of those being loose are uh, hunting idle, a little bit of a pop at an idle sometimes, also uh, hard to start. It'll seem like the battery's dead because you're not, the automatic decompression is not working properly if the valves are out of adjustment. It's not releasing enough compression as the piston is coming up. So it'll, the engine will crank over, it'll look like three quarters of a turn and then just stop. Whoop and then it'll go again. So that's definitely a, a symptom of uh, misadjusted valves. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this quick video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon if you do subscribe, it'll notify you when I upload new videos. And until the next one, take care.